hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to log sensor data to cloud postgresql database with raspberry pi pico w so if you have raspberry pi pico w and it is connected with some industrial sensor or any other sensor and if you want to directly log those sensor data to postgresql database then you can do that with the raspberry pi pico w without any intermediate medium so I have uh, seen a couple of videos regarding uh, data logging with Raspberry Pi Pico W or ESP32 or ESP8266 in which they use some PHP file and some other middleware to log the data into the database. But in this method we don't require any intermediate medium or middleware to log the data into our PostgreSQL database. Okay, so I have my PostgreSQL database running in the cloud as you can see the PG admin it's running on 52.90.199.127 IP address and here is my database okay you can see my database and if I expand my database then here you can see we have the tables right now I don't have any tables inside it but we will see how you can create the table and how you can directly log your Raspberry Pi Pico W data to the PostgreSQL database now in this video instead of any other external sensor I'm going to use the internal temperature sensor of the Raspberry Pi Pico W so we will read the internal temperature data of Raspberry Pi Pico W and then we will log the data continuously into our PostgreSQL database at interval of 10 second or 5 second whatever we require okay so first of all our Raspberry Pi Pico W will connect with our Wi-Fi and with the help of Wi-Fi it will be able to connect with any server on the internet or any database on the internet and then it will directly store our data into the PostgreSQL database so let's see so I have my Raspberry Pi Pico W uh, connected with my system so I'm going to open the Thony MicroPython IDE okay so here is my Thony and uh, I am connected with my Raspberry Pi Pico W on the COM3 port okay and uh, yeah here is the topic which we are going to cover that how to log sensor data to cloud PostgreSQL database with Raspberry Pi Pico W and already I have created a block for it in which you will get the code okay main.py file and the library file which we are going to use in this video okay so right now you can see I have this library folder inside my Raspberry Pi Pico inside that i have this micro pg underscore light dot py file okay so this is the file you have to create okay or you can directly copy paste the code from here you can create the file at this location and you can save it by this name okay so i hope this thing is clear otherwise you can save this file on your desktop and then after you can move it so let me show you that so if i yeah let me download this file okay and then after what we will do is we will go to the download section and here i'm going to find that file which is yeah micro pg dot light so initially it won't be there in your raspberry pi so let me delete it okay so initially your raspberry pi will look like this okay now i'm going to delete this one as well yeah so this is your raspberry pi initially okay without any library available so what you have to do is you have to go to the library folder and then after you have to upload this file to your library okay so we have this file here in the library folder now we can use this code okay the main.py file to read the internal temperature data and to upload it to the postgresql database so i'm going to copy this code now this code is already there in your raspberry pi okay so you don't have to copy this uh, we have copied this code and we are going to paste that code here now we are going to connect with our wi-fi so that's why i have provided the ssid and the password and then after once the wi-fi connected we are going to connect our raspberry pi with the postgresql database so first of all you have to provide your postgresql database ip address so here is my virtual lab of postgresql database running and this is the public ip address of my postgresql database so i'm going to copy this uh, ip address and i'm going to paste it here then after user so here you can see the user is my user the password is my password and the database is my database so the same thing i have provided here my password database okay and uh, my user 
Okay, so we have provided the required thing to connect with our PostgreSQL database. And then after, we will read the internal temperature of our Raspberry Pi Pico W. And in the while loop, we will continuously read the temperature at interval of 10 seconds. And then we will execute the insert query to insert our temperature data into the PostgreSQL database and table. So right now there is no table available called sensor data in our PostgreSQL database. So here you can see we don't have any tables. So we first have to create the tables. So I'm going to uh, right click and we will go to the query tool and I'm going to copy the query which I have pasted here on my blog. So query is copied. I'm going to paste that query here and then I'm going to run that query. Okay, you can see query returned successfully in 440 millisecond and I can, you know, refresh my tables and here is my table sensor data i can click on first 100 rows and here is my table first column is id second column is temperature and the third column is timestamp okay so we have successfully created the table we have already copied the library file into our library folder we have created our python code or you can say MicroPython script to read the internal temperature and to log the data into our PostgreSQL database. We have provided our PostgreSQL connection details like IP address, username, password and the database. Now I'm going to save this file to Raspberry Pi Pico using main.py name. Okay. And that's it. We can run it. Okay. You can see connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay, you can see Wi-Fi connected, connecting to PostgreSQL database and once it is connected, it will uh, publish the data to PostgreSQL database and we will have data in our table. So you can see, inserting temperature data to the database and inserted temperature 19.79 degrees centigrade. Now I can go to my PG admin, okay, and I can run this query. You can see the first log the second log okay so this is the first temperature log this is the second temperature log at interval of 10 seconds you can see uh, the difference of 10 seconds okay it will slightly plus or minus one second but you can understand okay so this is how you can use your raspberry pi pico w to read the sensor data it can be any external sensor data or it can be internal temperature as well and you can use this library micro pg underscore light dot py to continuously publish or continuously log your data into the cloud postgresql database so here is our raspberry pi pico w it's having its own temperature sensor inside it so we are going to read the temperature sensor of it we will uh, code the raspberry pi in that way so it will continuously log the data into the cloud postgresql database and here is our cloud postgresql database and it will log the data continuously at interval of 10 seconds so i hope this thing is clear and uh, here is the code which is required okay so this is the query to create the table if it does not exist in your postgresql database this is the main.py file in which you have to change your wi-fi ssid and the password and then after you have to change your uh, postgresql database connections okay so you have to change the ip address of your database you have to change the username you have to change your user password and the database name that's it and then after instead of this read internal temperature function you can use any other function to read your sensor data and then you can modify this insert query to log your data into your postgresql database okay i will modify the code so it will uh, specifically log our data into our database at interval of 10 seconds right now you can see uh, it is uh, getting increased by one second at each iteration okay so that i will um, rectify okay and then after it will uh, constantly logging the data at interval of 10 seconds in the uh, database okay so i hope this thing is clear so in this method you don't uh, need any other php file or any other middleware to log the data into your database your raspberry pi can directly log the data into your database now you can use this same micropython code in your esp8266 or uh, esp32 okay so if you have firmware of micropython in your esp32 or esp8266 then you can use this micropython code to log your data 
into PostgreSQL database directly from your Raspberry Pi Pico W or ESP32 or ESP8266. Okay, so I hope everything is clear. Also, there is one more idea about it. So you can read Morbus device data using ESP32, ESP8266 and the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So if you want to log your Morbus TCP device data or Morbus serial device data, directly to the cloud database then also you can do that with this method okay so this is the very useful method to log your data uh, remotely from anywhere in the world so you can put your raspberry pi anywhere in the world and it will continuously log the data into your cloud database and you have the visibility of uh, that location so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send me a mail also you can comment on this video now let's meet in the future videos okay till then take care goodbye and thank you